What is the origin of the word us we always hear in the dojo? There are a few different theories on where it came from, but we do know certainly that it was introduced to the dojo world through Kyokushin Karate. Today you will hear it also in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Dutch kickboxing, specifically due to the influence of Kyokushin Karate, and other martial arts as well. But where did it all start? The word us is pronounced and written in a few different ways. Most write O-S-U or O-S-S. They are just different spellings and both of them are correct. There is a debate among Karateka and scholars about the history of the term us and its correct usage. One thing that is known certainly is that the term did not originate in the birthplace of karate, Okinawa. It was founded and began use in Japan. One theory comes from Dr. Mizutani Asumu, a sought-after language expert and linguistics professor at the University of Nagoya and his work, Japanese, the Spoken Language in Japanese Life. Dr. Mizutani speaks about an experiment with people in returning greetings. He has concluded that us might be a contraction of the more formal expression ohoya gaizimasu, which is a very polite way of saying good morning. Dr. Muzatani postulates that us is a rough expression used by men toward other men, that it means hey yeah in English. However, the jury is still out if this is the reason it was adopted into karate. A second theory says it was invented by the samurai of the Saga clan on Kyushu Island. Yamamoto Tsunotomo, author of the legendary book Hagakuri, a book about the martial and spiritual way a warrior should live, was born in this clan. He mentions in the book that young Bushi warriors of the Saga clan in 18th and 19th centuries would greet each other with us when traveling to school in the morning. The third theory, similar to the first, is that it is a shortened version of Onigashimasu, translates roughly as please take care of me or I'm in your care or please have patience with me. It is a very important word used within dojos of Japan when asking of instruction or help from a senior student or teacher. It is essentially a polite way of saying please. Some students of karate in Japan have been known to use us as a less formal way of saying onigashimasu. Finally, the Kyokushin Karate version states that us is a contraction of two words from a longer phrase known as us no seishen. The verb us, which means push, and shinobu, which means to endure. Together, these two kanji form a new compound word, which symbolizes combat spirit, the importance of patience, determination, and perseverance, the necessity to overcome all obstacles, advancing with a positive attitude, not showing pain or exhaustion. It means patience, determination, and perseverance, and that every time we say us, we remind ourselves of this. Whichever theory is correct, we do know that us, as it is used in Kyokushin Karate, essentially means the spirit of determination and perseverance. Judd Reed is well known within Kyokushin Karate and the first foreigner to have completed the 1000 day Uchi Deshi live in student program in Tokyo, Japan under Kyokushin Karate founder Sosai Masayama from 1990 to 93. In 2011, Judd Reed completed the 100 man Kumite held in Japan. He is a champion in full contact karate and much sought after teacher. I asked Shihan Judd Reed recently his thoughts on us and he had this to say. I'm writing a whole chapter on it as it has a huge meaning in karate and the philosophies which teach to persevere and never give up. As to where the origins come from, I don't know, so I'll give you my brief meaning of us. When people start Kyokushin Karate or start to go to Kyokushin tournaments, their first introduction to karate etiquette and Japanese vocabulary is the word us. Us is a very powerful word. To me, it simply means, yes, I can do it. I will try my best. I will endure and not give up. It's amazing at tournaments when you hear the teacher giving instructions to the student before the fight. All you hear from the student is us. They answer it loudly and sharply with no hesitation. The fighter installs belief within themselves that they will succeed. Us is a humbling word too. It shows respect, loyalty, obedience, and trust. There are not many other words like it. Shihan Judd Reed. 
there is etiquette obviously in the dojo, and when and how to use us is no different. There is debate not only on the origins of the word, but also on when and when not to use it. Jesse Enkamp, the karate nerd, did an article on us, and while I enjoyed it and agreed with him that it can be overused, one thing I didn't totally agree with was his statement. Quote, Never say it to a Japanese person unless he is younger than you or wants you to say it. And when it comes to women, don't say it at all. End quote. I have many Japanese friends, some of whom are female. I brought this up in a conversation with them and their response was that it was nonsense. My very good friend, who is a karateka from Japan, uses the term with me a lot. He's younger than me, but higher in rank. Even when he texts me about meeting for dinner, he will end the text in us. For him, he tells me, it is a sign of respect for his friend and fellow karateka. My female Japanese friends said they don't use it because it is not a common part of Japanese vernacular outside of the dojo. But they told me that female karateka in Japan freely use it in the dojo and to one another, regardless of gender. In the movie High Kick Girl, the character Kei Sucha, played by Shodan Rina Takeda, says us to her sensei throughout the movie. You can even see it being used in other popular culture as well. For example, on the TV program Iron Chef, Chef Morimoto will say us before competition. This all being said, when you use any term over and over again, it becomes programmed into your subconscious. So, even I have responded to people with us instead of yes, like in my workplace, and they've looked at me like I had two heads. However, this isn't appropriate, and the use of the word should be reserved for the dojo, as it is a word that carries a lot of respect. Anthony Cummins, an author, historian, and TV co-host who specializes in the ninja of medieval Japan, gave a great vlog on the topic of us, which I would highly recommend you watch. One thing is for certain, I think everyone can agree, if we were asked to describe the philosophy of Kyokushin Karate in a single word, it would be us.